Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today the Android 10 June 2020 security update was released to all supported Pixel devices. So that means the Pixel 2, 2XL, Pixel 3, 3XL, Pixel 3A, 3A XL, and Pixel 4 and 4XL like I have here. And this particular update may also be out to some Samsung devices as well. I believe they've released it to some of those devices, but it is up to your manufacturer to release that particular update. So if you have it, you should be able to install it now. If not, it will be rolling out over the next few days on the pixel devices. Now, as far as the size of this update, it was actually fairly substantial for a pixel update and you'll see it came in at 131 megabytes. And that means that there's a lot of things packed into this as far as improvements and security issues and fixes and things like that. So you'll see, it says it's installing security update. So let's take a look at the build number and then we'll take a look at all of the different things that have been improved. So the build number on this one is Android 10, as you can see here, QQ three, a, dot two zero zero six zero five dot zero zero one. And this particular update, like I said, includes a lot of improvements and bug fixes. And some of these are specific to devices. So I'll talk about those specifically and others include all pixel devices. So the first thing has to do with improvements for audio in video capture. So if you're using your camera to capture video and you have poor audio, this is specific to the pixel three a and three a XL that has been improved. Now for all pixel devices, they've fixed missing Bluetooth pairing modes that can result in certain conditions. So if you're having issues pairing something with Bluetooth, if you go into Bluetooth here and you were having an issue pairing something, it should now be resolved. They haven't said specifically what that pertains to. Now on the pixel four and four XL, they've improved GPS accuracy in certain conditions. They haven't said what those conditions are, but GPS should be improved. And then for all devices under media, they've fixed audio playback speed issues in certain applications. So I don't know if that's specific to maybe a podcasting app or Google play music or YouTube music or Spotify, but if you were having issues with audio playback speed, that should be fixed. They've also fixed an issue when you're wirelessly charging on the pixel three, three XL pixel four and four XL. So if some of the UI wasn't showing up when you were wirelessly charging, it should now be resolved. Now on the pixel four and four XL, if you're using the feature flip to shh, when you want to silence the phone, it was broken in certain conditions. So if you're using that where you flip it over to silence it, it should now be resolved and should be working like it was before when you first had it. They've also fixed a system crash when revoking USB debugging authorization. So maybe you plug in your phone and it asks if you want to use USB debugging and it, you say no, and it crashes that's been fixed on all pixel devices. Now there's kernel updates to the actual OS on all of the pixel devices. They're a little bit different version on each one of them, but they've updated the actual kernel itself on all of the devices, hopefully for a little bit more stable kernel as well. There's also a fix for missing network indicators on the lock screen. So maybe you have Wi-Fi enabled, but it wasn't showing up. That's been resolved on all the devices. So if it wasn't showing, it should be showing properly now. Now they've fixed an issue with the wallpaper where it might be resetting on its own to its default settings. So maybe you're not using the default wallpaper like I am here. It would reset to maybe one of the default ones by itself. That has now been resolved on all the pixels. Now, if you're using always on display, like you can see here, and you had text cutting off on the now playing section when you're playing audio or anything like that, that should be resolved. Now, thankfully I hadn't seen that, but if maybe you're playing a song here, we'll just turn the volume down, we'll hit play, go to the always on display where the text would cut off. It should now be resolved. Now on the pixel four and four X specifically, they've fixed an issue for data connections loss when roaming in certain regions. So maybe you're using your cellular connection on roaming, whether that be maybe it's using T-Mobile or AT&T, any of those, it should now work properly and no longer lose your connection when you're roaming around with your device, but it's specific to the four and four XL on the pixel three, three XL three, a and three, a XL. They've fixed an issue for the Google Fi eSIM error when switching between networks. So if you're familiar with Google Fi, you can see I'm actually using it here. You'll see it says Google Fi. If you're having an issue where it's switching between say T-Mobile or us cellular, or what was formerly sprint that should now be working properly. It should be auto switching on its own. It was having an issue on those devices before they've also improved battery life when idle and connected in certain network conditions. So 
if your phone was draining, just sitting, doing nothing, maybe you had your phone off sitting there connected to Wi-Fi, and it was draining. It shouldn't be draining anymore. They've specifically fixed that with battery, but that only pertains to the pixel three, three XL three a and three a XL. It doesn't pertain to any of the other pixels. Now in the pixel four and four XL, there's four separate fixes that they've implemented that should be resolved. The first one has to do with receiving certain MMS messages and you would get an error that should now be resolved if you're using MMS and not WhatsApp or something like that. So if you were getting errors that should be fixed also on the same devices, there should be improved screen unlock speed in certain conditions. So if I lift this up, it seems to unlock nice and fast, but it should be improved if you were having it slow down, maybe while wearing a mask or something like that. Now they've also improved battery life on this as well. Why they called it out separately between the pixel three and the pixel four devices. I'm not sure, but battery is basically fixed on everything except for the pixel two for some reason. Now, as far as a final issue that's specific to the pixel four and four XL, they fixed the broken Wi-Fi hotspot on certain networks. So maybe you were unable to use your network as a Wi-Fi hotspot and it was giving you all sorts of issues. And maybe you're trying to help someone else update their phone, maybe an iPhone, something like that. And it was giving you issues on specific carriers that should be resolved now. And then finally they fixed Wi-Fi connection failures on certain WPA three networks. And so if you were having a hard time connecting to certain networks where you're located, that should now be resolved and it should work properly on all of the pixel devices that I've mentioned. So that's it for all of the improvements and bug fixes, but there are a ton of security patches. There's over a hundred, but let me just run down them quickly so you can understand what's patched. So there are two Android runtime patches. There's 11 framework patch patches. There's 50 media framework patches, 49 system patches, 15 kernel component patches, four media tech component patches, seven Qualcomm component patches and 18 Qualcomm closed source security patches or security component patches. All of those have been resolved in this update. So if you have a pixel device or any of the Samsung devices, not all of those security patches will be specific to your device. If it's not a pixel device, but there are a ton of fixes in this update. So I highly recommend updating for all of those security patches, as well as all the fixes. If you're having issues with your camera or battery or Wi-Fi, any of those things should be resolved. So that said, it will take a few days to know how battery is on this device since, well, we've got some major updates with it. So hopefully we'll have some really great improvements when we go into battery in a few days and see what it's at. Now, other than that, the performance has been good since updating. Everything's nice and fast, just like you would expect on all the pixel devices. Everything seems to be good. Everything's loading quickly as you saw earlier. And so we should be good to go going into the cameras, nice and fast, snapping a picture. It's just working really well. But if you found anything new or specific to these updates that I haven't mentioned, please let me know in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.